Hi, my name is Jacqueline Napier, and I am the lead physical therapist here at Urology of Virginia. I'd like to talk to you today about the services that we can provide for your pelvic health needs. Although many people are talking more in the public about pelvic floor physical therapy, there are still many questions that patients have when they are referred to physical therapy for bladder symptoms, pelvic or genital pain, and or bowel issues. Because patients often have questions, we created this video to give you some insight into what happens in pelvic floor physical therapy. In this video, we will be addressing physical therapy treatment for symptoms related to the prostate, including enlarged prostate, also known as BPH, prostate surgeries, and prostate cancer. We have a team of specially trained pelvic floor physical therapists and physical therapist assistants who care for patients with prostate-related symptoms. Some of the prostate-related bladder symptoms we address are urinary incontinence, also known as leakage, urinary frequency, urgency, and difficulty emptying the bladder. If you are suffering from prostate-related bladder symptoms, you may have difficulty completing day-to-day -day tasks without wearing a protective garment, such as a pad or an adult diaper. You may also need to know where the bathroom is located at all times. It can feel as though your bladder is in charge of you. Some individuals are also exhausted from waking up multiple times each night to go to the bathroom. Prostate-related bladder symptoms can cause significant distress in a person's life. During pelvic floor physical therapy, we will work with you to discover the role your pelvic floor muscles play in your symptoms, as well as create a plan to help reduce or even eliminate these symptoms. One of the biggest hurdles that patients face is recognizing their urinary symptoms may be coming from the muscles of the pelvis. Our highly trained physical therapy team can educate the patient about how the musculoskeletal system impacts the bladder and how this can specifically influence their symptoms. We can discuss how an enlarged prostate plays a role in difficulty emptying the bladder, frequency, and urgency, and how the pelvic floor muscles can contribute to these symptoms. We can also discuss bladder control following prostate surgery and how addressing the pelvic floor muscles can be beneficial Oftentimes, prostate surgeries occur after years of an enlarged prostate, and the pelvic floor muscles tend to weaken or lack coordination. The prostate and the pelvic floor muscles both can play a role in bladder symptoms. We help patients identify lifestyle factors that can contribute to their symptoms. EMG biofeedback will likely be used as part of therapy visits. In addition to direct treatment of the pelvic floor, physical therapy programming can include therapeutic exercises, such as stretching and strengthening, breathing strategies, pressure management, and other forms of lifestyle modifications. At times, treatment may include electrical stimulation units. Physical therapy is often covered by insurance. To utilize insurance, we will require a physician's prescription prior to initiating services. Physical therapy visits in our practice often range from every other week to monthly, and we can complete therapy typically within three to eight visits. We encourage patients to be diligent with their home program between appointments for optimal progress and treatment. We hope this video serves to help our patients understand more about how pelvic floor physical therapy can help our patients living with prostate-related symptoms. Rest assured, we will offer compassionate and comprehensive care for you.